Today, we have selected an extraordinary historical book for you. The Book Thief is a historical fiction novel by the Australian author Marcus Zusak, set in Nazi Germany during World War II. Published in 2006, The Book Thief became an international bestseller and was translated into 63 languages and sold 17 million copies. It was adapted into the 2013 feature film The Book Thief. So let's get inside this fiction piece of World War II times. Imagine death, not as a grim reaper, but as a reluctant collector of stories. In Nazi Germany, amidst the rumble of war and the stench of fear, he encounters Liesel Memminger, a young girl who steals books. But Liesel doesn't steal for greed, she steals for survival, for comfort, for the flicker of hope hidden within each page. This is The Book Thief, a tale of resilience, friendship and the power of words to defy even the darkest of times. Prepare to be captivated, to laugh, to cry and to discover the profound impact a single book can have on a life. And perhaps even on death itself. Number one, setting the stage, Nazi Germany. The novel opens in 1939 in the fictional town of Molching, Germany, where Liesel Memminger is sent to live with her foster parents, Hans and Rosa Hubermann. Against the backdrop of Nazi Germany, the political climate is tense, with the rise of Adolf Hitler and the spread of anti-Semitic propaganda casting a shadow over everyday life. The Hubermann's small home on Himmel Street becomes a microcosm of the larger world, where fear, uncertainty, certainty and oppression reign supreme. Number two, meet Liesel Memminger, the book thief. Liesel Memminger, the protagonist of the story, is a young girl with a tumultuous past. Orphaned at a young age and separated from her brother, Liesel's journey to mulching marks a new chapter in her life. Despite the challenges she faces, Liesel possesses a fierce spirit and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. Her love of books, ignited by her father's impromptu lesson on the way to mulching, becomes a defining aspect of her character as she navigates the complexities of her new life. Number three, the power of words, learning to read and write. Central to Liesel's story is her relationship with words and language. Illiterate upon her arrival in Molking, Liesel learns to read and write with the help of her foster father, Hans Hubermann. Their late night reading sessions in the Hubermann's basement become a sanctuary for Liesel, offering her solace and escape from the harsh realities of war. Through her newfound ability to read, Liesel discovers the transformative power of words to shape her understanding standing of the world and to connect her to others in profound ways. Number four, the book thief's stash, stealing books and stories. Fueling Liesel's passion for reading is her penchant for stealing books. From Nazi book burnings to the mayor's wife's library, Liesel seizes every opportunity to acquire new books, earning her the moniker of the book thief. Each stolen book becomes a treasure, a symbol of resistance against the oppressive regime and a source of comfort and inspiration in the face of adversity. Through her illicit activities, Liesel Liesel not only expands her literary horizons, but also asserts her agency in a world that seeks to silence her voice. Number five, the Huberman household. Love, laughter, and resilience. At the heart of the novel is the Huberman household, where Liesel finds love, acceptance, and a sense of belonging amidst the chaos of war. Hans Huberman, a kind and compassionate man with a talent for playing the accordion, becomes a father figure to Liesel, providing her with the love and support she desperately craves. His wife, Rosa Huberman, may be gruff and stern on the outside, but beneath her tough exterior lies a deep well of love and affection for Liesel. Together, the Hubermans form a makeshift family bound together by love, laughter, and resilience in the face of adversity. Number six, friendship in the face of adversity, Liesel and Rudy. Another important relationship in Liesel's life is her friendship with Rudy Steiner, the boy next door with hair the color of lemons. Rudy's boundless energy, irrepressible spirit, and unwavering loyalty make him a cherished companion for Liesel as they navigate the trials and tribulations of adolescence amidst the horrors of war. Their friendship serves as a beacon of light in the darkness, offering moments of joy, laughter and companionship in an otherwise bleak and unforgiving world. Number seven, the hidden refugee, Max Vandenberg. The arrival of Max Vandenberg, a Jewish refugee seeking shelter from the Nazis, marks a turning point in Liesel's life. Hidden in the Huberman's basement to evade capture, Max forms a deep bond with Liesel, sharing his love of words and stories with with her. Through their friendship, Liesel gains a deeper understanding of the horrors of the Holocaust and the injustices faced by those deemed undesirable by the Nazi regime. Max's presence serves as a constant reminder of the atrocities being committed in the name of ideology, and his resilience in the face of adversity inspires Liesel to stand up against injustice and oppression. Number eight, love and loss, navigating the complexities of war. As the war intensifies and the Nazi regime tightens its grip on Germany, the residents of mulching 
find themselves caught in the crossfire of history. Bombings become a regular occurrence, food becomes scarce, and fear permeates every aspect of daily life. Yet, amidst the chaos and destruction, love and friendship endure, providing solace and strength to those who refuse to be silenced by fear. The novel explores the complexities of love and loss in a time of war, highlighting the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable hardship. Number 9. Bearing Witness – The Importance of Memory and Storytelling Throughout the novel, Liesl grapples with the concept of bearing witness to the atrocities of war and the importance of preserving the memories of those who have been lost. Through her own writing, Liesl seeks to honour the lives of her friends and family, ensuring that their stories will not be forgotten in the passage of time. In doing so, she reaffirms the power of storytelling to transcend generations, to preserve history, and to give voice to the voiceless in a world that seeks to silence them. Friends, The Book Thief is a powerful and poignant exploration of the human experience during one of the darkest periods in history. Through its richly drawn characters, vivid setting, and lyrical prose, the novel offers a moving meditation on the themes of love, friendship, resilience, and the enduring power of storytelling. It is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity, and a reminder of the importance of empathy, compassion, and the pursuit of truth in a world plagued by injustice and hatred. As Liesl's story reminds us, even in the darkest of times, there is light to be found in the power of words, the strength of friendship, and the enduring legacy of love. In the end, lessons we learn from this historical novel are number one. Words are weapons. In a world shrouded in darkness, Liesl's stolen books offer solace, knowledge, and even defiance, proving that stories hold immense power. Number two, compassion transcends hate. Despite the perils of Nazi Germany, acts of kindness and humanity blossom between characters reminding us of the importance of empathy even in the face of adversity. Number 3. Resilience blooms in hardship Liesl's journey exemplifies the human capacity to overcome adversity, finding strength in love, friendship, and the unwavering pursuit of knowledge. Number 4. Hope flickers in the darkest corners Even amidst war and persecution, moments of joy and love offer a glimmer of hope, highlighting the enduring human spirit and its ability to find light in the darkest times. Number 5. Stories leave an ever lasting legacy. Liesl's act of reading to the dying mayor's wife proves that words have the power to transcend death and leave a lasting impact on the world. What are your views on this fiction novel which reminds the days of World War II? Tell us in comments. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.